Hey everybody, what's up? I'm back at you with a very highly acclaimed DVD review. Um, now, um, <clears throat> this has been something I've talked about for a long, long time. Um, I've mentioned this a lot in some of my videos on this topic, but I've never really shown it. So, um, what I need to mention is that, um, I've looked for this for a long time, but, um, I've never found it, so I went to Barnes and Noble and I put in a pre-order for it. It came in yesterday. I picked it up today, and now I'm gonna review it. What is it? It is none other than Voltron: Defender of the Universe Revelations, the motion comic. Now, at the time of this recording of this video, I am the only one who's ever even mentioned this thing on YouTube. Like, if you look up Voltron Revelations motion comic on YouTube, on um Google, um it'll show a res a uh, link to my channel, because I've mentioned this for some weird reason. Um, I guess it's just word for word, but, um, another thing I want to mention is that, um, in the comic, this also shows Voltron's original form, which I will show in a second, but, um, this basically kind of tells the prologue of the cartoon, um, what, the story of Voltron, um, well, not really the prologue, it shows, um, the arrival of Keith, Lance, Pidge, Hunk, and Sven. Um, how um, Sven got hurt, forcing Alora to pilot the Blue Lion, and kind of where the whole cartoon get, comes in. But um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, what I wanted to show you was a skit that you see in the intro of every episode. Um, let me just put the case down. Let me just pick up my webcam. Let me just show it on my TV. You'll notice that Voltron looks a lot different. He's got a gladiator look to him. He's got, like, um, well, first things first. Um, let me just put this back down. Okay, just for a quick comparison. Um, I'm gonna leave this guy in the background in the whole video. Here he is, 25th anniversary Voltron. This is what Voltron looks like today. This is how we know him. That is what he looked like before one of the drool's, um, sorcerers put a spell on him splitting him up into the five individual robot lions. You can tell because he's got a gladiator helmet on, and he actually has physical hands. He doesn't have the, um, lion heads for hands that he has when he was split up. And it t thousands of years, um, after he was split up, the lions were hidden away, and no one knew where they were. But when the um, Keith and his team come to Earth, made the heiress, they actually find the lions, and reform Voltron, but he was also his own organism. He could control himself. No one could, no one controlled him. Um, but since he was split up into five robot lion ships, he's now controlled by whoever's piloting each ship. So enough about his, um, the past. Let's get on to the present. I'm just gonna put Voltron over here in the back, and I'll leave him in the back here for the duration of the review. Um, uh, where did I... Oh, here it is. I'm sitting on it. <laughs> anyway, here's the DVD. It says, Voltron Defender of the Universe Revelations. On the bottom, you got a photo um, from left to right. You have Sven. You have Hunk. I mean, that that's Lance. Keith, Pidge, and Hunk. Um, on the top there, you've got Voltron. Over there, you have the beautiful Princess Allura. And I'm not sure if you're going to see this on video, but... Over here, it shows King Zarkon. I'm pretty sure that's Zarkon. Yeah, that's that's Zarkon. On the side, it says Voltron Revelations. On the back, this is an animated comics production. And I'll read the little bio here on the top. It says, From days of long ago, five misfit explorers are sent to the planet Eris to find Voltron. A legendary mechanical warrior split into five robotic lions by an ancient evil curse. Once they reach Eris, they soon discover that there is more to the legend than they believe, as they find themselves under attack from the dreaded Drool Empire. Now it's up to Keith, Lance, Sven, Hunk, Pidge, and their new ally, Princess Alora, to unearth the secrets of Voltron before it's too late. Now, this does have two versions of the film. You can watch it like the comic with the speech bubbles, or as it was shown on Sci-Fi in October last year, without speech bubbles, like it's an animated film. So let's get into the insides. Uh, the first thing you see is the disc. Um, these are produced by Eagle One Media. Not the same company that does um, the Volt, the Watchmen comic. But there's the disc. You also get this little booklet in here. On um, the first page, as you can see by the front, 
advertises for the comic. Kind of the same thing it has on the front. And then you get advertisements for other things that um they do. They did the Terminator Hunters and Killers, um, Micronauts Revolution, and these are made by EagleOneMedia.com. And these are also, this one comic was also partially done by Studio 414, as you can see there. Um, overall, it's a really nice comic. Now, I did see the entire thing. The only thing I did not see was the final episode, which premiered on the 19th, of, which was a Monday, at, um, let me just find my table clicker. The episodes came out in October, every Monday night at 11.30pm on Sci-Fi, which is, if you have DirecTV, channel 244. Um, they were all shown in order from start to finish, but only once. They never aired reruns. But, um, what happened was, um, I never got to catch the last episode. I came, I was supposed to come home. I came on Wednesday night. I did not get a chance to watch it. I was too late. I would have watched it Tuesday, but I was out, still out of town. Plus, I was like, still excited about Revenge of the Fallen. Plus, this is also what de designed me to buy this guy. But anyway, I digress. Um, <clears throat> if you love Voltron, you're a diehard Voltron fan, this is a DVD that you probably would like to, know, to love, to own. Me, I'm finally happy I've owned this DVD. I've wanted it for a long time now. I finally have it. So, I guess that's about it. Later, guys, I'm out of here. Go shop at a Big Bad Toy Store. They rock.